Hey, and welcome to this week's What's Sold video. So it was a little bit of a slow week for me this week. Not as much selling. I think it's kind of that late August, people are away on vacation, and they're just not interested in buying the kind of stuff that I sell. Anyhow, I did put together a What's Sold video of what did sell. It was more of the kind of $10 to $30 kind of stuff. It's still interesting nonetheless. And if you stick around to the end, I added a mystery item challenge for you. It's an item I picked up in a box lot. It kind of stumped me at first. I did finally figure it out, but I'm going to show you that at the end, and you can make your guesses. So anyways, enjoy the video. This is a ladies Timex Indiglo wristwatch. It's brand new. It's gold tone and silver, and it's in its original retail display thing here. And this came on a tray lot of watches. I paid maybe $20 or $30 for the whole tray. There's probably about 50 watches on that tray. Many of them broken or needing batteries. Probably I'd say about 20 to 30% of the watches end up being sellable. So this is one of those watches. This is probably, you know, the cleanest and, and best condition watch in that tray. And this one here sold for $33.95. This is a gold tone twist chain necklace. It's 18 inches long. It's by the brand or designer Monet. It's a nice quality, good, very clean, in good condition. Vintage costume jewelry piece. This here sold for $14.95. And I got this out of a box lot of costume jewelry that I bought at auction. This is a small US military pin recognizing 20 years of service. It's got the eagle seal and the number 20 there. I got this in a box of military pins, patches, and other related things at an estate sale. Paid $50 for the box. This was about three years ago, and I've been selling through most of that stuff. Most of it is gone at this point. I sold a lot of it for between $20 and $50. Still have a few pieces left in the store, and this one here sold for $13.95. This is a couple pieces of clear glass gold overlay. They're serving dishes. And they both match. They got the same pattern going on, so I decided to pair them up. These came in a box lot, and they were just kind of the leftovers that I didn't really know what to do with. And just decided to list them on the long shot that somebody would recognize them and want them. And uh, somebody did come in and buy these for $24. They're going off to the UK through the global shipping program, so they paid another $54 to ship these. So uh, they really, really wanted these. This is a Maxell reel-to-reel -reel recording tape. It's in good condition. I believe it's used. I have no way of listening to it, so I don't know if it is indeed blank or not, so I just listed it as used. These came from my father's estate, and I have probably about 15 of these to go through. Different brands. This is the first one I put up, and it seems to be the going rate on these is $10. So that's what it sold for. And it's going off to Russia via some sort of forwarding company, so they didn't go through the usual... Uh, global shipping program for this. So I'm shipping it priority to somewhere in New Jersey and I guess they're going to send it on to the buyer. Vintage office supplies. They take a little while to sell but there's always a buyer up there somewhere. These are some slip-on label holders in the box. It says a dozen. I think I counted and listed that there was a bit more than a dozen. They go on the back of a, of like a three ring binder or something. And these here I got for free. I think they're just in the bottom of a box or Found them at a tag sale and the free bin. I can't quite remember, but I don't think I paid anything for these. And I just sold them for $18. This is a primitive wooden trencher, or basically an elongated hand-carved wooden bowl made out of a solid single piece of wood. And these date typically sometime in the 1800s. This one is in pretty good shape, so it's probably in the later part of the 1800s. Picked this up at auction. It was in the same lot as those forks, which I featured last week in the butter paddles. Paid about $15 to $20 for that lot. This piece here I put up for $89. Somebody sent me a best offer of $65. I went back to $70 for them, and they decided to buy it. So it's pretty good sale on a nice old piece. This is about 20, about 20 inches across, so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge to find the right box to fit this in. So I haven't sold one of these in a little while. This is those glass sun catchers. Picked these up at auction. I bought 50 of them for 40, or sorry, 48 of them for $50 at auction. 
And I've just been selling through those all spring and summer, and I'm down to my last four now, so I don't have many left. This one here sold for $12.95. So this is how I pack up those sun catchers. They're a pretty thick glass. They're really not that susceptible to breaking. So I just wrap them in a few layers of bubble wrap, and then I just slide them into a poly nailer. And since they're not fragile, they really don't have to, um, you don't have to really worry about stuff pressing in on them. They really just need to be protected from being dropped. And uh, I think the bubble wrap does a good job. I have yet to have one break with this kind of very simple packaging. Another watch sold. This came out of a tray lot at an auction. And it, this one here just needed a battery to get to work. It's a pretty good watch. It's got some scratches on the crystal and some general wear. But these, this is a Fossil brand, and I find the Fossil watches are pretty desirable. People are looking for them. They sell really quickly. And this one here sold for $25. Okay, so as promised, here is the mystery item challenge. This is something I got in a box lot. I had no idea what it was until I came home and did some research on it. And it's just an interesting piece. It's made of wood. It's got metal in the middle here, and you twist this thing, and it kind of does that. Um, it has one marking on it right here. It says, I don't know if you can see that, but it says six and five eight. I said, okay, so if you know what this is and you know what it's used for, go ahead and post it below in the comments and uh, next week I'll reveal the answer. Okay, thanks for watching.